What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the 13th, yes, 13th episode of uh, Higurashi When They Cry. This one's Curse of Sleeping Chapter Part 5. The first ones go into more than four parts, uh, but this is the final part. So this is the final part of this um, uh, Satoko arc. Um, yes. I don't know what to make of this arc. I really don't. Like... It's just so different to the previous ones that it's kind of thrown me for a loop and I don't know what to think of it. I don't even know, especially compared to the other arcs, the other arcs were very creepy and very much focused on the curse. So far, that's taken a more of a backseat in all of this. I assume just to get... I don't know why that's the case and why this arc is ultimately going longer than another arc the other arcs, because I have no context for the originals as to what's going on here, okay? But it is a bit different. This has very much been more wordy and more build-up than any of the other previous episodes, and it feels overall just slower paced in general. It feels like things are happening, but not really that quickly. Like, it's a lot of dialogue just to get to important decisions to be made that then build upon and will be used later. That's what it feels like. Now, I don't know if these decisions are different than what original was or from other arcs was. I don't understand that, uh, just because I haven't seen the originals yet. But it's going to come to a head here, and I don't know what to expect. I mean, Jiro and Takano have been reintroduced. Are we going to get to the actual festival this time? That's what I want to know. Are we actually going to get to the festival and have the festival in this arc? I assume... We would, but I, that's not necessarily guaranteed, I suppose. Uh, but Because why was Jiro and Takano the two that went missing in both the previous arcs? Like, why would they be the ones to go missing? Why did they go missing? Like, I, I'm still curious about them. I'm curious about Ilie, just because he's involved with the clinic. I know there's something up with the clinic just because of the way they framed them in previous arcs. And then... Okay, and the biggest mystery of this arc so far for me. Who is going to be the curse? Like, if we're going to assume that last time, the very first arc, it was Reina. Second arc, it was Mion. Third arc, in theory, it should be Satoko, right? It makes sense since she's gone crazy, essentially. She's already part way there to an extent. But... I don't know if they're going to do that, because what the fuck is Oishi doing? Like, what is his deal? He's been so creepy this entire arc, like, more so than normal. Like, the dude is a bit mysterious in the previous arcs, and he's very on the case about the whole curse thing and everything. But in this one, he's just plain creepy in the way they set up the arcs. Like, the only time they ever really introduced, like, the Skardas and stuff, and the typical, um, how do I put it? The unsettling vibe of Higurashi. They save those moments for when he's on screen in this arc. And that terrifies me. Because what the hell is he going to be involved with? He's obviously doing something behind the scenes. But we have no clue what at this point. But just something is so, so off about him. And I just, I don't know how we're going to finish this arc. I really don't know how this arc comes to an end. Compared to the previous ones. So I'm going to shut up, basically, because uh, we've got um, uh, the old alliance on our side and all the elders. We've got um, Sonazaki family head, the grandmother, to agree to it and have the backing. So we have a lot of backing now to go against uh, child welfare services to do something. Not that they're necessarily going to have to do something, but if they're being put on pressure by the village council and such, maybe they'll have to take a bit more seriously but by the time they do take it seriously what would have happened like time has progressed in getting to this point what would have happened in that time that's what i'm scared about like what's happened in this time where they've been trying to get all this support what's been happening to satoko in this entire time and that's where my concern lies into what this arc might end up being but uh I guess let's get into the episode. Uh, as per usual, here on YouTube we do time-based reactions. If you want the picture-in-picture -picture version, you have to go to my Patreon, and the link to that is in the description. Um, just £4 a month gets you access to all the picture-in-picture uh, -picture versions of my uh, reactions. 
Uh, so far, that's just this show, Jujutsu Kaisen and Moriarty the Patriot. But starting from next season, which is kicking off in like two weeks' time or less than that even, um, it will be every single show I watch. So there'll be around about first month, there's going to be about 80 old videos at least, close to 100 uh, to get that you can watch with just £4 a month. So plenty, plenty of uh, content for you if you want to uh, support me in that way. Uh, there are also other higher tiers that you can look up there if that's something that interests you as well. But here on YouTube, it's timer-based. So bottom left of the screen, you're going to see the time for the episode. I'll count you down three to one play. Then on play, you start the episode, I start the episode, and we will be in sync. We are watching this one on Funimation as per usual, since that's who's licensed it. Uh, we have the Katakawa logo to start, and then the Funimation logo. So about 10 seconds or so are logos. So I'll, I'll call them out as they go past. You'll see screen flash on my face or the mic to tell when the scene's transitioning. So, for the final time in this arc, I believe, let's get into this week's episode. In three, two, one, play. Katakawa. And Funimation, cheers to that. God, my voice goes quick today. Here we go. Oh. Hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thirty, okay. That would definitely help. Are we skipping OP or is that just a weird cut? Holy shit. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's not make so many comparisons to goddamn damn war. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Apparently. Wow. That's a lot of people. Okay. Apparently. Well, don't know about that. Just runs away. Okay. Yes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the wise decision, actually. Uh, something in my eye. Wow, still people coming. Oh, he's here as well. Hmm. Urgent matter, huh? Okay. Is that you? You would need a permit, yes, that makes sense. He's kind of got a point. 
It is scummy, but he's got a point. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. And assault of a police officer, but... He kind of is. Huh. Mm-hmm. God, what is with Oishi this arc? Yeah. Oh. Oh. God damn it, Oishi. Hmm. Well, yeah. That might take a while. Yeah. What else can we do? Hmm. Well, that will definitely cause violence. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He understands the greater picture of this. Right. Huh? Who's here? Who's this? Oh. Huh? Well, are they necessarily? It's gonna boil over, isn't it? Why did we hold the shot inside the car for so long? Okay. Okay, lawyer backing. Okay. Very quick to just bend to that. He said playing pretend though. What's Oishi up to?
But Oishi knew this would happen as well. It is. Hmm. I wouldn't. Zero second paces, obviously. I don't think they will. <laughs> Should have opened like 10 minutes ago. That's not going to work. Oh, wants to cave. Hmm. Okay, City Hall. Oh, shit, sure, okay. 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 <laughs> Indeed. That's why we got the pull there. <laughs> Indeed. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What can they do, though? Straight there, okay. Okay, we're going straight there. Now what, Oishi? That is true. Yeah, I mean... What the fuck is up with him? It just... <laughs> I'm so... Just Hariyama, though. And then everyone disperse. Yeah. That fucking laugh, I swear. Um... Uh-huh. Well, let's save that until Satoko is away from Tepepe, shall we? I don't know about that yet. Okay. Hmm. Okay.
Okay. Okay. Are we going to have a happy ending in Higurashi? We're too early in the episode. Um, if we were in minute 22, maybe. <laughs> Festival's tomorrow. Jesus Christ, I didn't realize the festival was that close. Hmm. All right, well, festival time, I guess. Festival time, indeed. Hey. Hmm. Calm yourself, Anna. <laughs> yeah, well... Battle Royale, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the most fun, okay. Aggressively eating. <laughs> it's actually on with it sideways, okay. The hell? Uh <laughs> All right. In the previous arc, she made a mistake when he wasn't watching. Hmm. Again, got him away from it. Okay. And that is... Hmm. Aww. Please give her a hug back. Come on, boy. What's it going to be? Huh? What are we going to get? This is very creepy. Oh. 
Holy shit, who? Who? Really? I mean, it's all got that fuzz over it again, but... Well, yeah, who said this was a happy end? I promise that was not meant to be neck scratching. It was just instinctual. I don't know why. So what actually happened there? <sighs> okay. Conscious again. Okay. Right, what actually happens? Mm -hmm. Well, your delusion says you beat to pay to death after he attacked. Oh no. What happened to Oishi? Is Oishi dead? What happened to Oishi now? Did he beat Oishi to death for some reason? Oh, hi, Rena. Hmm. What did happen? Are any of them left? Or are they all dead as well? Really? At the shrine, yes. Holy shit. Oishi did it. Well, okay. So Oishi was suspect the entire time. But why? Oh god, I need answers. I hope the answer arcs come soon. <laughs> uh, I hope the next I hope the next arc is an answer arc. But holy shit. Now him bashing makes so much sense cuz that's what that was. Holy shit. And that's all we're going to get. Cat deceiving chapter. Okay. Cat deceiving chapters on it. Fucking hell. <laughs> I knew, it. obviously it was too good to be true. Like, as they said, like, oh, we're going to have a happy end and all that. When they were saying that 14 minutes into an episode, obviously it's never going to go that well. But it was Oishi. It was Oishi that flipped. But why him? Ah, <sighs> God, I need answer arcs. I need answer arcs. <laughs> it's basically all I need at this point. Um, hmm. K. 
cat deceiving, huh? Cat deceiving. I mean, it's still deceiving. I don't know if every chapter is going to be called deceiving. Because I don't think in the originals... Well, the originals, I don't think it matters what their name was, necessarily. I'm not going to look too much into those. I'll save them for when I actually get to them, which will be after after I finish this. I'll go straight into the originals uh, in whatever time slot is appropriate for that season, because uh, it very much depends just how my schedule is, where that, sh that would fit in. Uh, just like how World Trigger is currently fitting into the Tuesday slots, for example. Um, yeah, uh... Oishi shooting up the place. Huh. So yeah, Oishi was very suspect this entire goddamn arc. I'm glad I picked up on... Well, it's not hard to pick up on the fact, really. But why? God, I need answers. I so need answers. But I want the show to give me the answers. I don't want answers from... Like... I don't know, because it's hard, because this is both simultaneously something for new viewers and pre-existing. I do kind of wish I watched the originals before watching this. I think the more I watch this, the more I think it might have been a better idea, because I feel like it might be an overall better experience. Possibly. It's hard to tell, because I'm only going to have ever have the viewpoint of someone who watched this, then the originals. And the people who watch the originals then this will only ever have that viewpoint. So we have two different viewpoints and we can never truly understand what the other felt. But I'm thinking more and more that maybe watching the originals would be a better watch order um, than watching this one first. I think. I'll save that until the end of the season because we're only halfway through and we finished the first three arcs, I assume, I don't know how the arc structure is going to go. Knowing that they can break from the normal four arcs, who knows what this is going to be. Uh, the cat deceiving arc. Um, cat, cat, cat. I'm trying to think, who does cat realistically refer to? Um, let me just pull the Higurashi. Because what were the previous ones? Previous ones were, it was demon deceiving, cotton deceiving, then curse deceiving. Demon Cotton Curse, now Cat. Why Cat? What character has any real affiliation with a cat? It won't be Reina. It won't be Mion Shion. Probably won't be Satoko. I mean, in that case, it has to be focused on Rika now. In theory. Right? In theory, we have to have an arc now focused on Rika. Because we've explored every other character except her now. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, I'm curious to see where they go with this. God, always she shooting up the place? Huh. Huh. Well, uh, I guess I'll say this. Um, for those of you who have watched the originals, I just want to know if this arc was different. Just yes, no answer. If this arc deviated heavily from what the originals were. Because if I remember correctly, aren't people saying like this is not one... This is like an amalgamation almost of two arcs, if I understand correctly. Like... So it's an amalgamation of two, but then also differed into its own separate thing. Am I understanding that vaguely correctly? Just on that? Uh, I don't want anything more specific than that, if you can possibly avoid it. Because um, I want to go back and experience the originals for myself, and then start piecing stuff together with the uh, with the new one. But I get the feeling... Judging by the reaction to this episode, I don't think Oishi... I don't think Oishi shooting up the festival was necessarily... I don't think that necessarily happened last time. So... Yeah. I'm going to assume that's something different compared to the originals. But who knows. I feel like... Okay, if I'm to guess... I'm going to guess the original... Like the original series, maybe even the original visual novel. I'm going to guess that Satoko getting a theoretical happy ending where... 
Um, they actually got through to child welfare services and actually had action taken. I'm going to guess that just didn't happen in the original. I'm going to guess, because that makes sense to, like, why would you string us along for a potential happy ending only to dash it right at the end? I feel like the style of the original two arcs would indicate that maybe they do that again for Satoko's journey. Um, maybe Satoko goes crazy uh, because of uh, the thing. Maybe Tepe is the one that goes crazy. I don't know. But again, in all these incidents with Keiichi flipping out and reacting and bashing over the head, it's always that same filter over it. And I don't know if that's just a stylistic choice or if that's a choice that actually is meant to convey meaning in itself. Um, but by the looks of things, we're going on break next week. Uh, Higurashi, uh, according to Annie List, we're 13 days away from episode 14. So I'm guessing we're going on break here. It looks like January 7th is the listed date here on Wikipedia as well. So I guess next week we have a break from Higurashi to contemplate whatever the fuck that was. And then we start back up with the rest of the season. Uh, what will this be going up with? This will be joining a very... Oh, this is joining... <laughs> This is joining Sequel Day, uh, so for those of you who don't know, uh, I will be doing a Winter 2021 preview video soon to discuss what shows I'm going to be watching. Uh, this is going to be joining uh, Sequel Day, so I've got them all written down in my little notebook here. Uh, Sequel Day is Eurocamp Season 2, uh, Quintessential Quintuplet Season 2, Promised Neverland Season 2, Doctor Stone Season 2, and also Heaven's Design Team, which is a very interestingly weird looking show. Um, so Higurashi will be slotting in there somewhere, don't know where yet. Um, but, yeah, very, very interesting, very interesting ending. Oishi shooting up the place, huh? Well, Oishi was suspect throughout this entire arc, so, okay, they were consistent with that. But why? <laughs> I, that's just the question of Higurashi, isn't it? But why? You could sum up every arc with, but why, so far. Interesting. But why was it Oishi? Why was Oishi the one that acted? I should just watch the show, right? Like, at this point, I should just watch the show, shut up, and eventually maybe I'll get a bit of an explanation. Okay, so to those of you who uh, watch the originals, um, just so I can understand, because I have a certain expectation about this, I don't know if it's necessarily correct of what I should expect from this show. When it came to the original 24 episode anime, was it 24? I don't know. It was the, the original anime, the original run of the anime, uh, 26 episodes, never mind. When it came to that original run, were there any real lingering questions after that that absolutely had to be answered? Like going into, what was the second season's name? Kai? Was Kai the second season? Going into Kai, were there still unresolved things from that? that still needed to be answered afterwards, or did the anime itself go back and answer a lot of the stuff with subsequent episodes? Because as far as I understand, there's like, the way you guys have been talking about it, like there's, there's like the deceiving arcs or questioning arcs, and then there's the answer arcs, as it were. Um, do those answer arcs, if that's even a correct term to really call them, do they actually just, do they actually give explanations for things that have happened in the previous ones? Like, fully, or do they just, like, leave some things up for you to get and your imagination to fill in, or... Just a basic rundown of how that necessarily works would be appreciated, just so I don't have false expectations of this show. Because I don't want to expect something from it and then be disappointed by it, and then ultimately ruin my perception of it, necessarily. Um, so if I understand that my questions will eventually have answers, if I know that, then I'm, I'm okay with my theory crafting being involved so heavily in it, because... I feel like my theory crafting and my questioning of everything goes a little too far in some instances, especially with some shows that aren't necessarily trying to utilize that. I feel like I go a bit too much in depth and start focusing on things that aren't necessarily important. I think it's just my style, um, but hey, it's what separates me from some people, so I can't really moan about it. But just some general answers on those sorts of things would be appreciated. Um, so yeah. That's going to do it for you guys. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, leave a like if you did. Let me know your thoughts on this arc as a whole. Uh, obviously no spoilers for previous arcs in like the originals or the visual novel or such. Like you're allowed to say it's different because I expect it to be different at this point. 
Um, but d please don't go into too much specifics of it, uh, because I will be going back and re-watching. Uh, I'll be watching the original When They Cry. I'll watch, uh, I assume in, cr in uh, the order in airing date, I assume is how I should be watching this. So When They Cry, then Nekogoroshi Hen, I assume I should be watching after that. Then Kai, then Rei or Rai, how do you say it? Then Kira, then Outbreak. I assume is how I'm meant to watch it in that order, just in the airing date order. Um, I don't think there's any difference to that, but please let me know if I should be watching those in future in any way different. Um, God, it's going to be a long time. Like The entirety of 2020, uh, 2021 is going to be me watching uh, these shows, because When They Cry and Kai alone will probably take me the entire year. So I hope you're ready for another year of Higurashi content, because that's what's going to end up happening. So... Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, leave your thoughts and likes and stuff down below, like I said. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe to see not next week's episode, but the week after, uh, since it seems like uh, next air date will be in two weeks' time, not in one week's time. Um, as well as the rest of the fall 2020 live that is wrapping up on the channel, as well as my winter 2021 preview that will be coming out in the next few days or so. I'll, uh, I'll post some more stuff on Discord about that as well. So thank you everyone for watching. Until next time, see you guys later.